Goat tried to finesse me out of $500. And I ain't going for none of that. What's going on, YouTube? It's your big homie, Leonard. Back again with another vid. Now, before we start this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload any tips, advice, or reviews on anything sneaker or streetwear related. Now, today we finna talk about how GOAT tried to finesse your boy. Tried to finesse the beat home. Tried to finesse a finesse. Let me go ahead and tell y'all how this story play out, man. So, boom. I recently, not too long ago, sold my Air Jordan 1 Royals because... I grew a little heavier and my foot grew a little bigger, so it was a little tight on me. And I wear all my sneakers. I don't let sneakers just sit there and collect dust. I like to rock what I buy. I sold the sneaker and used the money to purchase another sneaker because I seen it on go for $500. I said, that's, that's a bit reasonable to be that caliber of a shoe at $500. Dead stock, why not? So the first thing I noticed when I purchased the sneaker, it said confirm, and then it said shipping to you. Shh. They ain't gonna verify it? So yeah, like I was like, that's weird. You know what I'm saying? Already red flags coming up. So then I checked my phone again and seen the tracker number coming from China. Now, we all know China is the king of unauthorized, unauthentic fake shit. We all know that. So yeah, man, I was unaware that GOAT actually had a facility in China because I've been shopping with GOAT for so long and all my stuff was shipped out of California, you know? So I was already questioning that anyway. I wouldn't even give it three days, man. So three days from China all the way to Georgia, my package was delivered. I go outside, pick up the box, and the first thing it said is DHL. Now, I know that just because it say DHL don't necessarily mean it's fake coming from GOAT because DHL actually is the postal carrier for overseas to America. You know what I'm saying? I know that. I know that. But still, I'm a bit skeptical because they didn't get verified. So, I finally bust down the box, you know, bust it down. Cut it open. When I opened the box, the first thing I noticed with the blue was a little off. I look at the shoe, scratching my head. It's like, nah, this shit ain't right. It, it, this ain't right. Bro, the first thing I did, bro, to legit check, was pull the insole out. And this is what I seen. Already, bro, I'm 38. Bro, I'm 38, like I'm pissed off. So I went to notice and other stuff, like the bottom of the shoe. The bottom of the shoe, the pattern by the Nike, that was all the way off as well. Looked at the toe box. Toe box look trash. I mean, bro, this was horrible fake. Then you turn around the back of the shoe, look at the heel tab, the stitching is, is just terrible. So instantly, I get a second opinion from my boy Jess for Kicks. I'ma link his channel somewhere up here. Y'all make sure y'all check that out, man. My boy, my boy be coming with it. So the first thing we did, we compared his shoe. He sent pictures of his shoe and, and boy. I already knew, but I just got a second opinion because, you know, that's what I do. So, boom, we both decided that it, it, this is a terrible fate, bro. This this is horrible. Horrible. And I'm so applaud with GOAT because I shot with GOAT so much. So, I hit up GOAT and let them know my issue. And the first thing they did was gave me a little runaround. You know what I'm saying? They ain't want to answer back my emails and nothing like that. So, of course, me, I can't let nothing slide, bro. You is not finna play me. You is not finna do that. I don't know how y'all was raised, bro, but when it comes to my family and my money, bro, and my food, I don't play like that. Like, I don't play with none of that. So what I did, you doing all right. I became 6'9". I became the biggest rat in America, bro. I went to the Better Business Bureau and left a little hefty comment. After I dropped that comment, man, probably like 10 minutes later, them boys hit my email up so quick and try to resolve the problem. So they sent me an email saying, go ahead and send some pictures and we gonna determine whether it's fake or not. All right. I sent the pictures, had to wait probably like two or three days for them to respond to that. So when they responded, they were like, okay, we made a mistake. So we got, you can do one of three things. Keep the shoe and get a $25 gold credit. You can send the shoe back and get gold credit. 
or we can refund your money. Now, of course, I like, that just sounds too good to be true. So I did a little research and what I've noticed was that a lot of people that get refunded, something happens to their account. Their account closes for some odd reason. So I said, you know what, whatever, man, give me the gold credit. I'll take the gold credit. Send the shoe and it's such a boy to go credit, you know what I'm saying? They apologize, whatever. Me being as real as I am, I went back to the Better Business Bureau and deleted my comment. You know what I'm saying? But we got out of the situation. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button for your boy. And don't forget to follow me at Big Homie underscore Leonard. That's L-N-R-D. And until next time, man, it's your Big Homie.